Hello everyone, this is another unboxing and a demo of original Xiaomi Yeelight E27 Smart LED Bulb. Uh, this is a regular white bulb, that means it doesn't have any colors. Uh, it only is able to adjust brightness. Uh, uh, this is a Wi-Fi enabled bulb, so that means that you don't need any central device in your home to control it. You just connect the bulb to your router and off you go okay so dear customer if you are not satisfied with the order please contact us at support center thank you okay so you can see from the box e light led 220 watts 50 hertz that means european standard okay Let's open it. It looks exactly the same as the previous one, and that is a color LED, which works beautifully. So, a small instruction manual, probably in Chinese, right? Uh, this is a code to download the application, but I uh, suggest that you don't download the application. Uh, this is Mi Home. It's much better to download uh, Ye Light application because then you can use developer mode. Okay, and here's the bu bulb itself. Wow, what a beauty! Regular white bulb, except it has built in Wi Fi. Okay. So, the next thing we're going to do is test the bulb. We're going to turn the light off so we can unscrew this guy here. It's a bit warm. Okay. This is a regular bulb. And we're going to put smart bulb with it. Okay, so it's in. I'm gonna turn it on. Oh, it works. Okay, so the next step is configuring the little guy. So we have Ye Light application, as I said. Don't use uh, Ye Home, uh, Me Home. Because Mi Home doesn't allow you to activate developer mode. Developer mode means that you can uh, control the light from other applications except uh, uh, Xiaomi's. Okay, so we already have one bulb here, which is called lamp. That's the color bulb. And let's try to find this other guy. Add device. Ye light LED bulb white. Aha, uh -huh, you see? It immediately found it so it wants to connect to my Wi-Fi it remembers the password from the previous bulb updating connection status just a sec keep your device close to the router and make sure the network environment is stable okay you see so it connected directly to the bulb and now it reconnected to my router to, in order to do this, you need uh, MI account on, or, on Mi Home. It says connected successfully. Okay, so let's refresh. Uh-huh, so this is it. It's here, so we can turn it off. Whoop, goes off. Let's turn it back on and let's see what we have here. So we can adjust brightness as you see it's a bit dimmer i don't know how it uh, can you take a bulb now we're going to increase brightness slowly this is maximum and it looks okay okay and uh, let's see if we can turn developer mode In developer mode developer mode on notice agree okay so that's it now we should be able to control the bulb from any other 
device, any other software. Okay, so let's try and see what it does in Kodi. That should be here. We already have one bulb. This is the add-on for Kodi. It's called Yimi. You can download it from my web, which is www.lanik.org. So, it takes a while to initialize everything. Okay, so we already have one bulb. As you can probably see, it says color. Let's do discovery of the bulbs. Okay, you see, can you zoom in? It says it found two bulbs. Uh, first one is the bulb number two. I don't know in what order. It found him probably by IP address, even though this is smaller. And the new bulb, is, it found the model is mono. So we want to overwrite the setting. Yep. So we now have two bulbs. Bulb number one is mono and the other one is so we can do testing. Let's say, let's test bulb number one. It should light up. Okay. The results of the test show okay. That's it. It works. You saw it. Two minutes setup. Thanks for watching.